Lorenda Carr here for Daily Vibe Check. All right, so it is Monday, June 28th. Happy birthday to my Nana, Mabel June. And for the first time, no, actually second time, come to think of it, second time, um, we have a live studio audience. Ready? Cue the audience. <laughs> yep. So we got a few psychics in the room happening tonight. Um, and this is exactly what we use our card table for in our house. It's like a poker table, but it's really literally covered with all tarot cards. So anyway, all right. So, so and okay, so technically it's Sunday night. It's fine. It's fine. It's Sunday night. But this is for Monday. June 28th. <clears throat> so we're gonna see what the overall vibe is for the day. Um, I've got my friends Mandy and April. Remember, talked about them earlier this week. And also my awesome friend Shelly, who's part of the neighborhood. And she's also amazing. Good juju all around. Okay. So we're gonna see what spirit wants us to know for our greatest and highest good. All right. Mm -hmm. This fantastic Monday that we're kicking off the week. All right, so we got King, King of Cups reversed. So if I think of this as recent past, it tells me that, the, okay, so King of Cups reversed is like a mentor or someone that um, maybe has not either come through or followed through or something that hasn't followed through is, is the vibe that I'm getting. Someone that maybe you counted on that has not kind of followed through, but no stress, we're gonna see what's happening. All right, what else comes up? Ace of Cups, you ready? Reversed, okay. So Ace of Cups reversed is like a um, you're wanting to start something. So, okay, it's coming together. So, Maybe you're this king of cups reversed. Maybe you have not like taken the proper steps to make sure you are like something you're wanting to start because ace of cups is newness and new love, new energy, new relationships. So maybe you thought there was someone that you really were into and you're like, why can't I get this why can't I get like into this gap person whatever let's find out what's gonna happen well a to cuss reversed which happens to be today technically today because it's Sunday a to cuss reversed is like moving on so this is kind of funny are you ready for this here's my big picture so king of cups reverse i'm like oh things aren't working out okay kind of a weird energy you're trying to get things started you're like oh my gosh this guy's to be if i was going to put a relationship this guy's to be so great this is a great opportunity great energy blah, blah, blah. why isn't it working it's not going to you need to move on from it so something that you're really it so if i put it into a bigger picture and not be obnoxious about it it is more of a, it's like you're trying to do something. There's something you're trying to push for, push for, push for, push for, and really trying to like, oh, seeking advice. Just trying to, I'm going to ask this opinion. I'm going to ask this opinion. It reminds me of, <laughs> so when my husband was in law school, he would take a test, get a grade, and ask every single person, what'd you get? Did you get this question right? What about this question? What about, would you answer this? This, he was so obsessed with like what everybody else did to compare what he did and like how his grade fitted with everybody else's. He was so concerned about this bigger picture as to how he fit into things. Now, ultimately it worked out. He's a successful, whatever, but it was still annoying. Um, it's that feeling of trying to check everything around you, feel everything around you but for all the wrong reasons. So when you're trying to do this to get started and you're trying to get into something and trying to do something different, it's not gonna work. And ultimately you're gonna be hitting your head against the wall and you need to step back and realize, yeah, that was fun. No, not gonna happen. Okay. So since we're moving on from something, 
let's pick up with um, the soul's journey cards or, or not soul's journey i'm sorry sacred traveler cards because we're traveling away from things that no longer suit us and this could be just a way of it could be literally a way of thinking a way of being it could be um like it doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be something that you're just trying to pursue and push and push and push. And you need to walk away from it because there's a point where you just, it's the B movie. The B movie. Oh, we got laughs in the audience. The B movie. This time, this time, this time, this time. Yipes. You keep running. In. <laughs> They're cracking me up. You keep running into the window, like the bee keeps running into the window, like this time, this time, we all know, we all know the, the fly, the bee, whatever, trying to get out, right? That's what this feeling is. Like you're just going after something that's just not going to work. It could be something dumb. It doesn't have to be a relationship or a job or anything major in your life. It could be something literally dumb. Like you're really trying to get those shoes to fit and match the outfit. And they're just never going to walk away, pick a different pair of shoes. Okay. Let's find out what the traveler says, though. Vast vistas expand your horizons. So, it's time to pick a different pair of shoes. You've got lots and lots of options. Do not pigeonhole yourself into something that you think is necessary and absolutely, oh my gosh, I gotta do that. Wait, I gotta do this, I gotta go with this, I gotta go with this, this is what I love because cups are passion. Remember, cups are driven by passion. You need to find, you need to figure out, is this realistic? Is this realistically something I'm chasing? Um, it isn't. Step back. Now, does it, need, does it mean you need to like walk away totally from an idea you have? No. Um, it doesn't mean you have to walk away from an idea, but if you are pigeonhole yourself, holding yourself into a specific way of doing it, because that's what, you know, realize that you have lots and lots of options. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. There are plenty of pairs of shoes to match the dang dress. All right. So that's it. Like subscribe, all the good stuff. I've got the quietest studio audience ever is it's kind of disappointing actually <laughs> they're all like this We're run, listening. Girl, run. Run. <laughs> so yeah this is what happens <laughs> oh yeah the fangirls kick in now yeah that's real all right <laughs> take it all right so remember you always have multiple pairs of shoes or if you've got the shoes that you have to have the outfit for there's always a match yeah don't get stuck don't get stuck and don't pigeonhole yourself into a singular way of thinking other than that have a great monday and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>